It was getting to me after a while. <laughs> Mary Bodenstein has barely slept since a train rolled up and parked right by her window. I don't think I could take another night of it. <laughs> Usually, it's okay because the trains keep going. But just to sit there and run their engines low, then it raises high, then low, then high, and then stay there, and it wasn't easing up at all. Not to mention the fumes. Well, I was coughing all the way to the city hall after I got in my car, it was so strong out there. She took her issue to city leaders, but was told it's a federal issue, and even called the police. Mary says she tried getting a hold of the train yard, but couldn't get through. Why did you call us? Because you're always, in, always on our side, that's what you say, and then that's why I thought of you people. A Federal Railroad Administration spokesperson told us there are no federal regulations that specifically address idling. Locomotives will be left running when temperatures are below 35 degrees to prevent damage. Noise from idling trains is regulated by the U.S. EPA. The Association of American Railroad says federal regulations have clear requirements for automatic engine start-stop device installation. Those devices are generally designed to shut off an engine after 30 minutes of inactivity, except in cases where damage to the engine may occur. Fortunately for her, the train was finally moved this morning. She's happy to finally have peace and quiet. I forgot what it sounded like. <laughs>